Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I am a 90 years old student from Greece who passed the IMAT 2017 with 55.9 score. This channel was created while I was still studying in order to help other students who are preparing for IMAT. In this video I will present you how I was studying and which preparation books I used. I have been receiving many questions about resources and notes and in this video I will try to address them. First of all, I strongly recommend you find the IMAT specification on the Cambridge website that I, will, that I will be putting the link below and you read it very very thoroughly. Now, let's get going and look at each section separately. First of all, biology. For biology I have many videos on my channel and I suggest you watch them. Also, in each video in the description I have the link for notes regarding the topic. But, I got, but what books? Did I use and should you use in order to study biology? I personally recommend the first two, Barron's AP Biology and Cliff's Notes AP Biology. Um, now, regarding this book, Cambridge International ANS and A Level Biology course book, I do not suggest it for two reasons. First of all, it is very detailed and it will absorb much time from your schedule. And second of all, because the question the questions in each chapter are not in the same format as in the IMAT. So I don't think this is a very helpful book. But this book is written by Cambridge, so it is preferred by many candidates because Cambridge is also the testing agency for IMAT. For the topic of anatomy and physiology, um, one of these books, none of these books, I'm sorry, none of these books are qualified, so I suggest you these two. Uh, if you can't afford if you can't afford both of them, I suggest you the first one. The second one is like um, more in depth of the first one. Right. Um, these books are awesome, especially the first one. They present the theory in the IMAT level. What is that level? Um, not so detailed in order to go to university level anatomy and physiology textbooks, but not so general in order to go to high school textbooks. This is why I recommend these two books. Um, now chemistry. I also have some videos with theory and notes on my channel, so feel free to check them out. Now, I suggest the first two of them, but for the same reasons as bio, I don't suggest the Cambridge book. Now, I have a tip to share with you for chemistry. Uh, many questions on the IMAT require you to know the atomic number or the group and the row of the periodic table some elements belong. This is why I strongly recommend you learn all the elements of the first four rows of the periodic table in the order that they are on the periodic table and you can use this song. I will be putting the link in the description below. This way you will solve a lot of questions quickly and correctly on the IMAT. And now you're going to be thinking, well, if they expect us to know the atomic number, won't be put, they will not put them, they will not give us the atomic number? In many questions, no, they don't give you the atomic number, but, they, but you need to know the atomic number of some elements in order to solve them. All right? So this is why I'll, I use this song, of course, not of all of it, because all the song has all the tables, just the first four rows. Right, it's a very catchy song, and you ha won't have any difficulty. Now, for physics and mathematics, I suggest you study from these books in physics and from these books in mathematics. Uh, but because this is an easy section of the IMAT, if you have a deep understanding of the material from high school, I would suggest you rely on past papers for review and in your high school books, of course. Now. Uh, in many, many problems, both on general knowledge and, and general um, and critical thinking, I'm sorry, and in physics and mathematics, you will need a calculator. But calculators are not allowed in the IMAT, and therefore you should practice in solving all the problems without using a calculator. So during your preparation, you should never ever use a calculator in order to practice and this way when the IMAT uh, time comes you will be ready to solve and make calculations very very easily. 
Now, how to study for these sections that we've talked, 2, 3 and 4? First of all, find the AMAT certification specification on the Cambridge website that I will be putting the link below. Second of all, match the topics with the chapters from the textbooks. Then, after you match the topics from the chapters, you start studying the theory. And while you study the theory, you should watch some videos, animation and pictures about what you study on the internet. And mainly pictures. I really, really recommend it. Just Google what you're studying and you will see a million pictures that will help you understand this much, much better. Then, solve some exercises in each chapter that all the books have and review again and again. Now, I have a tip for you. When you study, make simple questions with one-word answers in order to test yourselves, but also use this for review later. Here's an example of what I created for the epithelial tissue and organs. For instance, the organ ha has two areas. The, one, the, one, the first area has cells with specialized function and it's called the parenchyma, and the second has supporting role and it's called the stroma. And the only um, organ that does not have a stroma is the connective tissue. You see these are the questions and here are my answers. And this way I could practice both when I was learning and after for review. Okay. Now let's go to the most discussed section of the IMATS. General knowledge and logical reasoning. How to prepare? Um, on the IMAT specification, there are examples of types of questions and explanatory answers. This is where you should start your study. Then, you can solve past papers of BMAT and later, about one month before the IMAT, you should solve past papers of IMAT in exam conditions. That is, measure your time, don't use a calculator and don't open any textbooks. This way, you can learn to solve all the questions in time, something many candidates are struggling with. They, most candidates, don't have the time to finish answering all the questions. You need to be quick and precise, and that ha happens only with practice, practice, and practice. All right. Now, in case you really insist on buying a book for in order to prepare for this section, this is the only one I recommend. All right. Um, it's a very good book to practice for the general knowledge and logical reasoning section. Now, while preparing, you will have many moments of mental breakdown. You will be too tired to study or you won't be in the mood for studying. For these times, you should have written down why you want to study medicine and when you're struggling to study, read that and motivation for studying will come right away. Now, thank you guys so much for your support while I was giving IMAT and good luck on the IMAT. If you have any questions about medicine in Italy, costs and how the universities work, you should check the link of a YouTube channel where they try to address these questions and also they have a website I will be putting the link to both of the website and the YouTube channel in the description. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.